What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. Today I'm coming at y'all with a brand new sneaker unboxing. It's right over here. You see the Just Still It tape, so y'all already know the vibes. We are getting into this possibly the best Jordan 1 of the year, so they say. So some people have said this is the best Jordan 1 of the year. But we gonna see what it is. This was a Nike sneakers ad purchase. It was some type of like second chance kind of thing. So that might allude to what I have in this box already down below in the comment section. Comment right now what you think it is. I'll give y'all a second. All right, now that y'all got y'all guesses in, don't cheat, we gonna go ahead and open this up. Ooh, that box is different. Wasn't expecting that, okay? That box is a little different. Y'all gonna know as soon as I pull this out. Let's go ahead, let's do it. Y'all see that yellow? Not gonna lie, that yellow hitting kinda crazy. What y'all think about that box? That's a nice box. Yeah, I know I'm not used to the nice boxes, okay? It's grade school gang over here. I'm not used to the nice boxes, but I actually did pick these up in a men's size six. Normally I would get a grade school six. When the men's six is available, I do try to pick that up because, you know, men's shoes have better materials, uh, so on and so forth. So I do try to pick up the men's when it's available, but I take what I can get. And this time I was lucky enough to cop the men's pair. That's dope. I was not expecting that, but that's definitely a nice touch. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up because the box is not what we're here for. Let me show that to y'all for the one time. I don't normally do the lot numbers and all that, but there it goes for those of y'all who care about that type of shit. The lot number and Nike check on the inside. We're gonna do this together. Now, I, I've said my, um, I've said my piece about this shoe many times on this channel. I've had my thoughts about it. But let's see if I, I'm feeling any different in person or if I keep the same energy. The pollen. The Air Jordan 1 pollen. All right, I kind of fucked it up. I fucked it up. It was supposed to be. There we go. There we go. Let's pull these out. My little bag fell off. Yeah, let's put that to the side for a second. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take them both out. I need to see both. All right. So now I have them both out of the box. I can go ahead and give y'all my genuine first impression of these. So I've said this before on the channel, and I'll say it again. Jordan ones are like chocolate cake. You know, you can spice it up a little bit here and there. Maybe you deviate from the recipe a little bit. You add some fancier ingredients, you change the branding, you change the box, you know, something to just kind of deviate a little bit from the normal. But chocolate cake is chocolate cake at the end of the day. It is what it is. And that's what we love about chocolate cake. And it's the same thing for the Jordan one. Nike changes some things here and there. Jordan brand tries to, you know, add a story, add some marketing, maybe change up the color block in a little bit, give us some interesting materials here and there but a jordan one is a jordan one and that's what we love about it so does this sneaker astound me does it blow me out of the water no is it a nice looking shoe is it a good looking shoe yes and i'll talk more about that in my full review and on for me. that is just you know my first impression of this right here it's a jordan one it's a good looking jordan one i'm not gonna lie about that now, is it Jordan one of the year? I don't know about all that. I think people might be getting a little bit ahead of themselves. We've seen some great Jordan ones this year. Hyper Royals, the UNC Jordan one. That one wasn't my personal favorite, but a lot of people really liked that one, the UNC Jordan one. Then we had the Silver Toes. That was a really great looking woman's Jordan one. And then we still have a lot of heat that still has to drop. Those Bordeaux ones, those are gonna be a problem. And I hate I hate it when people say that, but those really will be a problem. Like the Bordeaux ones look crazy. That wine color, we've never seen that before on a Jordan 1. Well, we've never seen that before on a unisex Jordan 1. There have been like Jordan 1s in the past that utilized that Bordeaux color, but for the most part, they were women's Jordans. So I think that really, that's, that's gonna be a banger for this year. Then we also have the women's bubble gum, that navy blue and pink joint that still has to drop. 
the uh, trophy rooms, whether you like them or not. That was a really nice shoe that came out of this year. So there's definitely some contenders for Jordan one of the year. I think this one makes a great staple shoe. It's something that you can have in the closet, have in the tuck. Black and yellow can really go with anything. If you haven't seen my outfit video already that I did for these, go ahead and check that out. I created some outfits for y'all just to give y'all a little bit of inspiration on what you can wear with these. But yeah, black and yellow, you can rock with a whole lot of different things. And it's something nice to have. Do I think that it will take the place of my new loves? Maybe, because honestly, the new love is a mid. That's one, this is a high, and I do prefer highs. I'm not a mid tater, but I do prefer highs. And also, my new loves are old. They came out in what, 2016? Is that pair from 2016? No, no, that pair is not from 2016. That pair has to be from around 2007, 2006. My new loves have to be from around then. Yeah, so that being said, that shoe is older now. It has heel drag on it. So if I saw these side by side, you know, do I wanna rock my new loves? Yes, but am I gonna reach for the pollen? Probably. I say all of that because I feel like that's the obvious comparison. Black and yellow Jordan ones, my mind immediately goes to new love. Would I have preferred if they used that yellow? Yes, I'm sticking to that. That's something I said from the very beginning when we saw mock-ups for these. If they were gonna give us a black and yellow Jordan, I would have preferred they just made the new love into a high top and kept that same yellow. But I don't hate this yellow as much as I thought that I would. Like it's not, you know, as honey mustardy as I was making jokes about. It's not bad. I will gladly make the space for these in my collection. Like I said, I pay retail. I didn't have to pay resale, you know, 220, 250, whatever it may be at, 170, and I was able to get a men's pair. So yeah, I will definitely come at y'all with my full review on for it soon. This is just kind of like a teaser. You do get the extra laces. You got a black pair, a white pair, and a yellow pair that's inside the shoe. I'm actually really digging this um, leather, but I don't want to get too much. I don't want to get too much into that. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Yeah, so that's what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the pollens down below in the comment section. Is it Jordan one of the year? I don't think that it is. I think we still have we still have some time to go. It is too early to tell. I feel like this is very on par with the shadows. I will put it right at that same level. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I'll check y'all out in the next one.